Thank you. Welcome back. We're at the Svendborg Amateur Sailing Club in uh, Svendborg um, on registration night for the Silver Rudder. Not fight night, but registration night. A great atmosphere here. We're really excited about the fact that uh, it's now half past six on Sunday, the 1st of March. Half past six in 30 minutes. Let me just see the final number, the latest number. Three hundred and fifty-six registrations have uh, have rolled in. Now there are quite a few doubles. A few people have um, registered two and a couple of even three times. So let's say realistically, there are probably about three hundred and forty or three hundred and thirty registrations, which is absolutely outstanding. We're we're absolutely overjoyed. We hadn't imagined that we'd have this many registrations in just thirty minutes. Now, those of you who haven't uh, pressed the register number, you now take your time make sure you actually do want to participate in the race. There's no point in registra registering if you're not uh, absolutely convinced that this is what you want to do. But remember, even though there are now six of the new Dela 30 ODs, looking forward to seeing you, and the seascapes and a lot of small pogos and big racing boats, I want you all to remember that this is a race for everybody. Now, this is a race for the cruisers, for the Nordic folk boats. This is a race for the uh, conventional family boats that are participating as well. And uh, I would say the majority of people here on the list are here to race against themselves, to prove to themselves that they could uh, circumnavigate Fun um, within the allocated time and get the finisher t-shirt. My friend Max from last year and his uh, granddad's and his father's Westerly, he's registered again. He sent me a thumbs up. My boat, which I sold uh, six months ago, is, uh, is registered. Uh, my ex-boat, well, I'm looking forward to seeing you on the starting line, Henrik. Well done. Um, you know, I would say that probably this year we'll see more and more uh, serious racing boats, but I think we'll also see um, a polarization of, of between the really fast boats and then you know, the conventional traditional boats, you know, the 1990s boats. So it'll be a good combination. It's going to be good. Now, looking at the list again, I'll just refresh again to see how many actually have registered. If there are a few more that have just tickled in whilst I'm chatting away. 357 now, yeah? Uh, there's a nice uh, a handful of uh, multi holes again. I can see that, um, that the most of the class, the, the holders of the records, have registered. Now, remember that if you're a, if you're a record holder, you get to, uh, you get a, you're guaranteed. A, uh, a spot on the list regardless let me see there are 10 small multi holes um, you know the conventional farriers 82 race dragonfly 25 sports there's a new boat a multi 23 we haven't seen before 